RV for an entire week. We were running around like madmen. Hey, my and that's because Yay! we don't have the RV. Hey, oh, we you know, the red helicopter. There's the red helicopter. Those things are just going constantly. They're in a constant loop. Every 20 minutes, they go and take a new group of people for a ride. A new around the lake. Um, what were you saying, dear? So. <laughs> Bless you. We got everything we could prepared last night, but we couldn't put it in the RV because it's not plugged in at our at our office, and so it's really hot in there. So we didn't want to like ruin any food or anything like that. Right. So that's why everything was kind of like a mad rush the past hour to get this thing ready. Luckily, we were already hooked up and ready to go. Otherwise, uh, so last night I spent hours prepping all like the veggies and the fruit and everything and getting it all packed up and made the last minute rush today. We also closed on, there's that final lot that's between my parents' lots and our lot that we finally just closed on today. So we had to do that in person at the title company, which it ended up being fine. It's not like it was holding us back from leaving earlier because we still had quite a bit to get done. Right. So yeah. Now we're on the road, we're headed to Northern Arkansas. We also moved the cats into the office. Um, it's, I don't think it's too hot in the building for them, but it's its only gonna get warmer. And I just, we just, they need to be in the office with us, I think. So, we've got the cats moved over to the office. My parents are gonna check on them uh, periodically while we're gone for the next five days. All right, let's do this. It's gonna be fun. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Woo! so excited about this. What'd you say, Wee Wee? Anyway, so there- We're gonna be sitting in a car seat for three and a half hours. Yeah, this is, that's gonna be super Are you guys fun. ready? Okay, no, just sit there for three hours. Yeah, just sit. Don't get too hyped up. Bear's been talking about this trip. We're, we're finally at the age where we can't mention something that's happening in the future because every day it's like, is today the day we're going hiking? Are we going hiking today? Are we going to Arkansas? Can we do the puzzle so we can look at Arkansas? Really adorable. Bear's definitely the most excited of, of any of the offspring of ours. We're there, dude. Oh, that's cute. They have their coordinates. I wonder if they have to for some reason. Mm. That's a neat building. <gasps> oh, I thought that was P L A Y G R O U N D inside there. But I thought those were a bunch of slides with that. Oh, neat. I don't know. Okay. How was the drive, guys? Good. Quiet hours at 10 p.m. Uh oh. All right, campsite one. They have 10 of them. I thought they only had three. It says one through five and six through 10. Oh, it says RV and campers that way. <clears throat> hmm. Look at that little guy. Oh, that little guy? I wouldn't worry about that little guy. <laughs> nice. And they're they're all pull through slots. Mm -hmm. We've only had a pull through slot one time. Seriously? Yeah, in Branson. Everything else has been over there. Uh, you're good. This is nice, not having to get out and like direct you. That's so miserable. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's actually kind of fun. That'll do! 
It's beautiful and it's not blazing hot out. Yeah, it's nice. There's right? a breeze. The breeze is perfect. There's a couple of dog turds over here. Oh, welcoming just... us to our spot. Whoa. Just a little couple of little guys. This'll do. This will absolutely do. Gosh, luckily though, weather cooled off a little bit. Got these kids already digging into a little dinner. Got some juice going. Let's get some tunes on and just relax. Let's do it. Rachel asked, do you want one of your Father's Day presents early? As I grabbed for my first beer. Sure, honey. I'm just like my mother. I can't, I can't wait to give you presents. What is it? I know it's a can koozie. What's it say? Aw, oh, my favorite people call me dad. Ain't that the truth? Except and, for me. Yeah, you don't call me dad. And your mom and dad. <laughs> they don't call me dad. You'd like a peach, please? Sure, buddy. Allow me. Oh, thank you, honey. Smooth. <laughs> it's so beautiful out. Like we should do all this stuff another time. Eloise, you want to take your food out? You want to take your food out to the table? Real time update. Obviously we are in the cabin. I think that's obvious anyway. And the kids are napping. Brad is outside doing some work. He's doing some power washing and weed eating and we're basically just trying to reclaim this cabin from nature. And um, I was gonna tell you guys, tonight, Brad and I are filming a major update on Brad and Rach, the kids are in bed. So we're gonna film it tonight, it will go live tomorrow. And we're gonna talk about everything. We're gonna talk about this cabin, the office, where we plan on staying, um, we, which, spoiler alert, we're not really sure yet where we're gonna stay, primarily. Um, we're gonna talk about future babies and what we're thinking for a timeline on that. Um, and just do like a really deep dive into all of these like loose ends that are in our lives right now that we're trying to figure out how to tie up basically. If you have any specific questions for that, leave them in the comments below and we will refer to these questions when we're filming that video and try to answer as many of them as possible. Um, that is, probably gonna be live tomorrow, like I said. If you're not subscribed to Brad and Rage, the kids are in bed, and that's something that's interesting to you, um, it's basically just like a deeper dive where we, we talk about why we're doing the things we're doing. And I know some people are interested in that, and some people are just like, stop talking, we just wanna watch your kids play. That sounds really creepy. Um, so anyway, we're filming that tonight, and then I think what's happening is, and I've created this problem for us, but we have our two YouTube channels. I think those both need to be separate. And then we have our two Instagram pages and one of them's a family page and one of them's my personal page. And I've talked about this a million times, but I'm running them both. And so it's hard to figure out like where I need to update what, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's too many places for me to feel like I have to update. And so we need to be, like we need to consolidate basically, I think and I'm not sure how to do that, or you need to take over our family Instagram page. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to do that. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna do that though. He doesn't wanna do that, and that's fine. But I'm thinking about consolidating and just trying to, I don't know, trying to figure out like how we can make, make it to where we're not having to update in so many different places and we're not making people mad over here when we update here but not here, and it's, it's just hard. We, like, we just don't have, we don't have the time to manage for accounts but I created four accounts, so it's like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I guess just get rid of some of them. But anyway, um, I did kind of spill my guts, share my heart on my personal Instagram page today about like this house and where, where we're meant to be and when we should be transferring embryos. And I just kind of talked about the pros and cons of doing several different options 
that are before us that we're not sure like which path to take right now. And if you're interested in that, then it's just my personal Instagram page, Rachel Inglebards. But like I said, we're gonna be doing a deeper dive on that whole topic on the kids are in bed. So if you're subscribed there, you'll probably catch that conversation in tomorrow's video that we put out. So no pressure if you don't have Instagram, you will catch up on all of this stuff. It just may not be today. But if you're dying to know like what's on my mind right now, then it's on my personal Instagram page. Obviously we, we love our community on here and it's been, it's given back to us in more ways than we ever could have expected when we started out a YouTube channel. So we're always very grateful for you guys and your feedback. And there have been many things that have been brought to our attention by our YouTube and Instagram community that have sort of changed the course of our lives. And I, I think that's powerful and it's really cool that we have so many people that care about our family and can give us feedback on some of the major decisions that we're making. So thank you guys for being here and for sticking with us and um, un being understanding, I guess, of the fact that we're we're at a we're like at a very big transition point in our lives right now, and um, some big big decisions are up in the air. So thanks for your patience. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Big things are happening, probably soon. So. With that said, we'll see you tomorrow.